Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about pulleys. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing is getting into mechanical advantage systems more in depth. And one of the basic building blocks of doing that is knowing about pulleys. Now, I'm just covering pulleys meant for rope rescue. Okay, so everything you see here, all these examples of different pulleys are meant for rope rescue okay there's a um, whole other world out there about snatch blocks and uh, pulley systems for off-road recovery and logging and all that kind of stuff um, that will apply here to a certain extent but uh, all these pulleys are meant for rope rescue and I wanted to address what to look for and what all these numbers on these pulleys mean okay so I want to make that dis distinction right away. Um, there's a whole world out there of pulleys, but I'm going to limit this discussion to the pulleys in the rope rescue world. Okay, so if you look in front of me here, you see all these examples, and you're like, well, shoot, which one do I use? Okay, well, the first thing you need to consider is do I need a single pulley or do I need a double pulley? And obviously the distinction is one has a single sheave, one has a double sheave, okay? That's the first thing. The other distinction to make is how big of a pulley do I need? And basically um, when you size a pulley, you're looking at the sheave in here. Uh, this has a two inch uh, pulley wheel uh, this has an inch and a half. Uh, this one here has about a five eighths of an inch. And this one here has a inch. Okay. And this cat here, I think it's about a little inch and a quarter, something like that. Um, the reason I bring that up is, is that matters. Okay. Because for efficiency, and each pulley here has a different efficiency rating. And efficiency rating means that if the rope is sized correctly to the pulley, um, it will operate within a range of efficiency. And most of these will be in, in the 90, 95% efficiency range, okay? Um, but what's crucial is, getting back to my original point, is if you have a rope, the diameter of the rope has a relationship to the size of the pulley wheel. That means, ideally, it's a one to four relationship, okay? Um, so that means if this is a half inch rope, that means I should ideally use a two inch pulley wheel, okay, for maximum efficiency. Now you can use a smaller wheel, like this little guy here, and it's gonna work all day long but it's not going to be as efficient as a bigger pulley wheel, okay? This one here is actually a three inch. And if I were to use this as a pulley in a haul system, uh, or this three inch pulley, this, this pulley here is gonna be vastly more efficient, okay? Which means it's gonna be easier to pull and, um, your input forces are going to go further than if you use something as small as this, although this will work too. Okay. Um, and one other consideration is, is that even a pulley this small is vastly uh, better than just using a carabiner. Okay. So the other end of this is a carabiner. Um, some people will consider this as a pulley right here. Um, that's not a pulley. Um, your resistance on this is going to be really large, okay, like a two to one margin. Okay, so you're, you're going to have to pull twice as hard in this configuration as any kind of pulley, okay? So don't think that you can use a carabiner and use it as a pulley and not suffer tremendous friction losses, okay? 
That's why we use pulleys. Uh, it makes a big difference. Okay. All right. So uh, we need to consider what style we need. We need to consider what size we need. Okay. Now let's go over some of the, the parts of this. It's uh, pulley is a very simple machine. Um, this one here, you have two side plates that swivel. Okay. You have an axle, and then of course you have the pulley wheel. Okay, or the the sheave. Uh, that's pretty much it on a pulley. Um, some of the more fancy ones have swivels, so the pulley can orient itself depending on which angle is being pulled at, uh, such as these right here. Um, these are going to be more expensive. They also have open side plates. You can uh, load your rope by opening one side plate in, instead of uh, two which means you can have a carabiner here and um, load it after the carabiner is loaded, which is really nice. Okay, so be mindful if you're using these for rope rescue that um, you choose the right style, you choose the right size um, for um, efficiency and next thing I want to cover is is I want to go over some of these markings on these these side plates here okay oh I, I know I was forgetting something the third thing you want to be mindful of is uh, prussic minding okay and all these are prussic minding and if you watch my other videos I use prussics a lot which means when a prussic hits the side plates here um, the prussic does not get sucked up into the sheave okay so um, these are also prussic mining pulleys and it says right here uh, three inch pmp which is a prussic mining pulley single okay all right so those are the three things you need to consider uh, all right so that's basically it in a nutshell but i want to cover uh, one thing that confuses people and now this one here, and I'm going to take a picture of this and show it in the video, but uh, right now I'm just going to draw a quick picture of this, and what it has is, is this right here, and here's the pulley, and it's got 38 KN, and then it has 19 KN, KN, and 19 KN. Okay, this confuses people. Um, obviously, the, the 38 up here, that looks like a one, but it's not, it's an arrow. Um, the, the 38 up here is a number, obviously, and divided by two is going to be 19 on both sides. So what that means is, you know, if I load this pulley like this and I'm pulling, each of these legs of this rope are going to equally share the force, okay? And all this is saying is this pulley is rated for 38 kilonewtons. So a KN is a kilonewton, okay? Okay. So what is a kilonewton? Okay, so for those of us that have been out of school for a little while, a kilonewton is a thousand newtons, okay? Okay, a newton is a unit of force. Okay, this is what confuses people. Um, and one of the reasons we have to learn this, well, while well, we have to learn what a kilonewton is, is because um, all your rescue equipment is going to be rated in kilonewtons. So we need to be able to figure this out. Okay, so what is a newton? Okay, so a newton is equal to one kilogram times one meter per second squared. 
and what all that means is and sometimes it's easy to just draw a simple diagram here imagine that's a box that way is a kilo kilogram and the amount of force it takes to move this one meter per second squared is a Newton okay so most of you um, are like well how do I apply this okay um, why do I need to know this and how do I apply it so we're going to do a couple cheat codes here for most people if you want to convert this to some easy math all you have to do is so one kilonewton is equal to roughly now this isn't precise 224.8 pounds or if uh, if you're not from the United States and you use the metric system it's going to be roughly 102 kilograms okay so if I have this rating here this is rated for 38 kilonewtons which would be equal to 38 times let's round it up 225 pounds and that is going to be your rating for this and let's let's do some math real quick so 38 times 225 so it's 8500 pounds so 8000 550 pounds okay so that's the amount of that's how strong this is this can this can withstand over 8,000 pounds okay or 38 kilonewtons okay so so the, the rough uh, uh, the, these are all rule of thumbs right here so if you want to do quick conversions you can either multiply times 225 or 102 to get your whatever unit of measurement you want okay but technically it's a kilonewton and you're gonna have this is what you're gonna be going with okay okay hopefully you stuck around for that um, it confuses a lot of people but uh, it's important to know all this stuff is rated in kilonewtons and you need to know how strong it is and what kind of forces you can apply all right, uh, next step is going to be covering simple mechanical advantage systems. And but now you know the basics on pulleys. There's more to them, but uh, that's just, a, just a, a basic overview. See you in the next one.